Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. During the eruption in Faradarsfjall, small satellites were used to monitor and predict the eruption's actions. A lot was learned and this technology will definitely be used in future eruptions like this. The earthquake activity is yet again increasing in the area around Mount Kaelir, after taking a short break. This supports the suggestion I made in the last video that the earthquake activity will fluctuate. This just raises more questions. Another area on the globe started erupting, and this time in Japan's largest volcano. Interesting stuff. But in this video, we are interested in what's happening in Iceland. So let's check out the newest data. So, let's rewind a bit. This is three days ago, and we are looking at the Mount Kaelir area on an earthquake map. As you can see, there are plenty of earthquakes. This is the day of the last upload, or two days ago, where we saw a decrease in earthquakes. It continued for another day, but then we arrive at today. And we can see that the activity seems to be picking up again, with more than 100 earthquakes in a day. That's a lot compared to the 30 we got the two days before that. You can also see the activity pick up again by looking at this chart from weather.is. This is how it looks now, this was how it looked in the last video, and this is how it looked on the 16th. Here you can see the gap clearly if we put the last 48 hours together. It's gonna be exciting to see if the earthquake activity will continue to increase, or if it will decrease again. On to the mystery earthquakes, or earthquakes that occur in rare and strange locations. The first one coming from Krisuvik. At 2.1 in magnitude, it's not that large, but under this area is an active volcano system called Krisuvik. This green lake over here, called Green Lake, was produced in a large explosive eruption from the Krisuvik system a long time ago. This earthquake doesn't spell that the eruption from this system is inbound, it's probably related to the activity around Mount Kaelir, but we are nevertheless expecting an eruption from the Krisuvik system in the near future, especially now that the Reykjanes Peninsula is active. But since this is geology, the near future could mean in 100 years, so nothing to be worried about now. The second mystery earthquake came from a slightly weirder, more rare area than Krisuvik, Mount Helgafell, a very popular hiking area that's very close to the capital. This area is what makes the location of Reykjavik one of the worst ones possible to have a capital, since this area is a part of the Krisuvik system, and some scientists expect an eruption there in the not so distant future. Whether this earthquake marks the beginning of that era or not, we'll just have to wait and see. Since the last upload, my view on the situation hasn't changed much. The last prediction aged pretty well, so I think we should just wait now and see what happens in the next few days. If you don't want to miss out on what happens, subscribing could save you. And it would mean a lot if you'd hit the like button, since it helps YouTube share the video with others. Other than that, I want to thank you for tuning in, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.